Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We're jumping right into this video. Today I'm going to show you how to make faux fur pom-poms. They are awesome to go on top of your crocheted hat, so whatever your projects, crochet, knit, um, anywhere you would like to add a pom-pom. Now these strips of fabric I got from Joanne Fabrics, and they are the brand Fab Lab. So you can Google them, find out where they're sold, order them online. Every Joanne does not carry it, but they do come in a multitude of colors, okay? So I chose gray and white because they're going to go with the projects that I'm working on. And um, let's just get started. Now with this, you're going to need a tapestry needle, but you need a sharp one, okay? So they call them darning needles, um, but just make sure they have a sharp tip. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need some polyfill. Now this is the smallest bag that I found because, again, I didn't want to overexert myself and buy too much it was about $4.99 but if you don't have that or you don't want to buy it use some scraps of yarn that you already have at home and you can stuff the pom-pom with that simple it's easy and you don't have to spend any money okay so I'm going to remove this stuff and you're also going to need a round object I'm going to use a medium sized bowl um, now this bowl is going to give me I believe six and a half inches of the circle that I want so if I wanted to make another large pom-pom, I can get two out of this little strip of fabric. Okay, now if I wanted to make smaller ones, then I can get more, of course. One thing you guys need to know, this is going to shed like crazy. Um, so just to make sure that you're prepared for that, I usually have a sheet down when I'm doing the, the tutorials, but I didn't want all that fabric and the hair to get on it, or should I say the faux fur. So... Um, this is just easier to clean up. I just did it right on my countertop. So what you want to do, real simple and easy, once you have your object placed where you want it to be, you trace it out. And then you'll just go ahead and once you have it traced, you'll start to cut it, okay? You want to make sure that you have sharp scissors. This in particular um, fabric doesn't have a real thick backing so it was a lot easier to cut than some of the ones that I saw in the actual fabric store that were on you know that I would have had to buy by the yard so this was just much more easier to work with um, so I'm just going to take my time and I'm going to cut around All right, and I'm just going to remove some of that excess hair because, of course, as you can see, it is shedding. All right, guys, I think I got most of it off. And um, just measuring it again in that did give me the circumference of six and a half inches. Um, so that's going to be like a pretty large pom-pom. So now you're just going to need Worcester weighted yarn or any type of yarn. It has to be strong. So I chose Worcester weighted and it is a gray yarn. Depends on you if you want to use the same color of your actual pom-pom. You don't have to because you won't see the yarn. So we're going to thread it and you want to make sure that you're about a half inch away from the edge because this will and can actually tear. So you want to make sure you're about a half inch away and it is going to be a little difficult inserting the needle. It was easier going through than coming back. Um, but you know, if you have a hard surface, make sure that you just press down on the surface to get that needle to go through. And um, you're going to just go weave it in and out throughout the entire circumference of that circle. And just remember to stay about a half inch in. So as you can see, it was pretty difficult for me, but it got easier as I kept going. So you're going to weave it in and out, pulling as you go through. And as you do it, you'll see that the edges will start to turn up and that's what it's supposed to do, so don't worry.
And now that we have it all threaded, we're back around to the beginning where we started. Um, what I'm going to do is remove the needle and I'm going to start to actually pull on the threads, the, the yarn, so that way it can begin to close up even more so. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to add the stuffing to my liking. So it depends on how full you want your pom-pom to be. I believe the fuller the better. As much as I can get in this, I'm going to try to do that. So I start with a little bit at a time. And then I just continue to add till I see fit. Again, this will all depend on the size that you have your circle cut out to be or that you want your pom-pom to be if you didn't want to go as large as I did. And again, feel free to just use some straps of straps, scraps of yarn um, for filling if you wanted to do that. And as you can see, I'm filling it to the max. So I'm going to go ahead. I think that's enough. I don't believe I can get any more in there. I'm going to go ahead and start to cinch it close. And just carefully pulling on the end. Making sure that it's full to my liking. And once I get there, I'm going to tie it off. That's just going to secure the pom-pom. And what I also want to do is I'm going to re-thread the one side um, to my tapestry needle and I'm going to insert that um, across to the other side of the actual pom-pom and that's just for extra security. And that also will come in handy when it's time to actually attach it so that you'll have a string on each side of the pom-pom. And when you attach it to your project, you know, it's, it's better for leverage and everything, so... And again, just remember to be patient. Don't go all the way to the top. You want to go inward a little bit and insert your hook there so that way you don't tear the fabric. And once you have that done, you'll tie it off again. And for me, guys, I usually tie off a few times. I just want to make sure that it is secure. I'm just checking the pom-pom to see if it's to my liking. You can always um, just mold the actual stuffing inside also to make it a little bit more rounder. Again, guys, I'm still cut. I'm still um, tightening it up just a little bit more. And now I'm just going to play with it. Now you can keep the furthest length. I love it long. I love it fuzzy and just kind of wild. Um, but you can feel free to actually trim it down if you like. I'm going to leave it like this. And um, that's it, guys. It was so easy and simple. It was very um, affordable. I believe the fur, it, the faux fur itself costs $2. Um, $2.39 for each sheet of it. And I'm going to show you guys how I, or the projects that I attached it to. And I'm going to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe for more easy crochet tutorials or DIY tutorials. And these are the two hats that I did with the pom-poms. So thank you guys again. Be blessed and most importantly, be a blessing.